Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Who's ready for more Samurais? I sure am. All right, everybody, we're back for more Phoenix Wright, but you wouldn't be watching that if you didn't already know it. <sighs> yep. So, we are on the trial. day three trial, which is actually the second trial period, because day one was... The murder. It was the murder. Uh, day. Okay. All right. Let's get rolling. October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. I just realized his, like, objection thing is on the text box. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. Oh. He didn't? Yeah. No. Uh, one thing is, do you see how it, that, like, makes his mouth? Yeah. I always thought that was, like, I didn't think that. I thought, like, this was his neck. I just looked was, at like, it and I was beard. like, is that his neck? Ugh. <laughs> but no. Then he that... looked like a weird, you know that weird alien from episode two? It's like, hello, Obi-Wan Kenobi, we've been expecting you. Oh, yeah. It looks a little yeah. like that. A little bit. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, right. Mia? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him? This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. <laughs> Yet if Mr. Powers tr is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. But video games are never easy, so that's good. <laughs> October 19th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Why are we in four? <laughs> There's a lot of significance oh, there. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. <laughs> or that director. <laughs> well, Why didn't he dress up for court? Will the witness state his name and not profession? What can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. I'm a just a samurai noob, RFL. Salmonella, I'm a director of television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking his testimony apart. What's up with the face, Mia? That she's looks, like... <laughs> that looks so weird. I can't tell if she looks like she's being sarcastic or... She's like... Mm. <laughs> it's weird lips. Oh, wait, no, that's just a smear on my computer. Hang on. Uh, no, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no, that is. There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit... Still, it looks the same to me. If Powers right. is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Man, if the director killed it, I'd be, like, kind of <laughs> laughing just a bit. <laughs> yeah, because you saw you, Samurai! <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Is that your current theory right now? That, like, he's the one who did it? Could be. Or could, be could be the cold-hearted producer. I don't know. She's, she's like, almost running it in a way, so maybe she's, like, blackmailing people. I don't know. No. Otherwise, Penny. <laughs> Extra strong muscles. <laughs> I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. Yeah. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left his chairs. You're like, <laughs> I didn't really notice. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. 
Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Turns out they all were given sleeping pills, so no one left their chairs, except for someone. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Your Honor. Well, I mean, it's possible. It's just we found the sleeping pills in the employee area, not the trailer. But they, someone could have moved it, I guess. Is it the studios? Hold it! <laughs> Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no. I come in at all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. It's brownie's face. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing a magic scene on feet. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, the security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. <laughs> she was cheering on Hammer, if you could believe it. She certainly has the ones for it. <laughs> Anything? Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on for so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but... The WP twisted his ankle during the run through C. Oh, right. That's the limp. Which, of course, led me to missing my lunch. ROFS! ROFS? Rolling on the floor? Starving? <laughs> You're thinking about something? Yeah. Did he list the producer? Producer was not at the action scene run through. Oh! Okay. That's weird. I feel like the producer is usually there. Well, she's got other things to do. <laughs> like smoke. She's yeah. taking this long smoking break. I feel like she does nothing but smoking breaks. Maybe that's what her... Like, she's like in the middle of the meeting, like, I'm gonna go take a smoking break, and then just goes and kills it. <laughs> <laughs> that's possible. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak! The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? How did he know they had T-Bone steak? Yeah, no steak at least! Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Not at all. It's a little vague, or it's contradictory. I think it's contradictory. How so? Um, how would he know that there was steak being served if he wasn't around for lunch? Hmm, interesting. That's the only thing I could think of. Okay. Otherwise, it's a little I mean, thing. we might as well try all, all this stuff. Well, no, not really. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, perhaps I was wrong then. Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen her pose like that before. She's like, well, I'm an idiot. Dane! <laughs> I have literally never seen her pose before. <laughs> uh, we went to meeting until around uh, 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a little vague. Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just now you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chocolates in my pocket, which I used to stave out starvation. <laughs> I see. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. <laughs> You're right, it is contradictory, but actually not for the reason that not you listed. Not for that listed. reason? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. What did you mean, Sweats? When I went to that trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on the table, the same kind of plates as in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I. Uh, uh, good call, Sweats. I. Uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Uh. A T-bone steak, did he eat you the mean? Higher steak? Was he the idiot that ate with all the bones? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect it as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. Oh. I, er, wolfed it down then. Drool. Well, someone killed him in that trailer then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one in a bit more. We were in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this! The sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? 
actually, I kind of can. <laughs> so nobody left the tra uh, the table during the whole meeting? Do you mean, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. <laughs> that's like, that's so <laughs> vague. <laughs> you didn't take a single break? Uh, well, y yeah, not a one. Sweats. Well, there you go. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder or leave him be. Just press. <laughs> no, it's a second thought. I'm drawing a blank. If I press too hard in the wrong place, I'll just end up scaring him into silence. You're not gonna scare the Maybe I'll just sit back and see what happens. Phoenix, if his alibi holds, Powers is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Right! Press harder. Press harder! Wait a second! Mr. Manoa, you've just contradicted yourself! Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during the break? Oops! Oh, I fell! Well? Um... Okay, he looks a little bit like the dad from Chibi Robo. Like the whoa! Not really! It's, it's the yeah. hat and, like, the outfit. <laughs> so not actually his physical shape. Well, he's got a rounded face like him, too. Mr. Manolo, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Especially You're... since the like especially since the producer was like, oh, we were there the whole time. <laughs> Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manoa, your testimony, please. <laughs> Let's update it. <laughs> Thanks, Edgeworth. Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. Witness testimony! The break! <laughs> Yeah, FWIW, we took a break, ROFL. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, LOL. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me, sweats, or steams. <laughs> I don't know, 15 minutes. Hmm. You'd be surprised what you can do. I don't think it would minutes. even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Cross-examination, the break. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm... It say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. What? 2.30! That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. Is there at the trailer? Yeah, they're at the trailer. But it was only 15 minutes! 15! It's only 14 in base 12. <laughs> what were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating. Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the trailer or table. Oh right, the other one was Diva's. Sorry, Divasquez's plate. Divasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes—that's quite a feat. That's not really a feat if you're hungry enough. Yeah, I, like if you're really hungry and you're like committed. Blah, 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 Especially that's if easy. you're committed to eat the bones, you're just like. <laughs> I feel like that would take a really long time, because chewing the bones at one, you really can't chew them. I don't know. Maybe he had, like, a dog. Turns out them. he has steel teeth, and he could... I mean, one possible thing is that could have just thrown the bones on the trash somewhere. Someone would have had a lot of time to do that, though. That's true. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. Not true. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and claim it loud. Yeah, we claim it and claim it loud. Alrighty then. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then this trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm... I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Unless it's the monkey. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. 
the court record? I know there was a monkey that flew over. <laughs> sure. But, hey, someone could jump over the monkey. Or just go around. Or go around. <laughs> like, go through the bushes. Like the kid. The kid went through the bushes. Someone could have snuck in through the, the drain. Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa! You're right! True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from here to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. Eh. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is That's like the one big thing about this case. I'm like, really? No one could have just walked around or, or over, over the monkey the head? Monkey? Uh, that's why I was like, that has to yeah. be it. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, blah blah blah, path to the scene of the crime was blocked. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And some... The real question, though, who would have knocked it off? I mean, the wind... Do you really think the wind would have just been like... <laughs> <laughs> Strong <laughs> like winds that day, I guess. I believe we've seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. <gasps> what? It's over! <laughs> oh, he's like... <laughs> you couldn't gather that well, just no, from his frontal like, portrait? <laughs> but, like, he is compared to other... Yeah. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Is that stupid kid coming up? I like Pokemon! Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment yeah. when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Why are they doing this? I mean, they need the evidence. But like, okay. I've never heard of an eight-year-old just like, I'm gonna be on this the case with the defense attorney. Like, I don't know. I would uh oh, That's so much for the child. Unfortunately, that does happen in real life. I know that does. I just have never seen it or heard of it before. Right. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten-minute recess, after which we will hear from your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Let's go run outside and play on the swings! <laughs> Not that recess. October 19th, 11.04 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M mia Don't tell me you're giving up! If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was still a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... you... thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Oh, Literally boy. for the kids. <laughs> yeah. October 19th, 11.15 a.m., District Court, Courtroom, number four. <laughs> <laughs> 
Court is now in session. <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. I mean, true. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, r right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. They have crates of donuts? Dang, I want to go to that court. I like how he still has his samurai sword. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? What? Just because you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. Yeah, you can. Mm. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. Holy cow. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Red... <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness! Uh, I mean, Cody... He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> <laughs> you were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with a beard over there? <laughs> Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. <laughs> a very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's impossible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid? And you <laughs> lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. Can I do Cody for two seconds? <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Seven. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I love how you're literally just using my voice. So it but it sounds so younger and innocenter because I'm a girl. I don't think that's I went true. through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When it came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai! It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down! Pow! If I had his camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I'll tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Yes, it could. It went through the drain! <laughs> hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. And be gentle. Remember you're talking to a child. So don't press him. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. <laughs> I want to see him <laughs> He's just bad everywhere. <laughs> you really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do! I've taped every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course! Duh! My dad always takes me! Cool. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> <laughs> Found a map on the internet! Hold it! The internet's not that reliable. Was that day the first time you'd come to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops! I'm getting to it! How am I supposed to talk when you cut me off all the time? Jeez! <laughs> I went from the woods and off the path. Why couldn't anyone else have done that? Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow, I was going for the studio. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. Oh. So you went straight to the studio. 
this is before that time. So. Oh. This is before he got lost for a half hour. So this was at 2 o'clock and it blew down at 2.15. Okay. You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person. Kinda tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Okay. Huh. He's being awfully vague. He was just like... <laughs> of course the Steve Samurai took him down! POW! What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro! What a great actor! Oh gosh. Y yes I suppose he was. He doesn't know he's dead. That's... Oh gosh. That might be for the best, though, because that way it's well, not he's really trauma. But figure it out! <laughs> you know, That's like, true. Like, this, is, this is Edgeworth, he's gonna be like, If you dead. had a camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. So, where did you think it was? Um... The only thing I can think of is I think he did have his camera and he probably took a picture of, like, the dude killing him. And then he was like, ah! But I don't know. Well, if we go Cody's camera, a new digital camera, Cody, Cody always carries it, it, though okay. he's still learning how to use it. Blah, blah. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Whoa. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word <laughs> with you? Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? <laughs> it's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? Wow, this is really dated, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see. Brand new digital camera! Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright! How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so! I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney! No one should lie in court! What do you mean, OR a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's so on the box. cute. I like his yin-yang backpack. It's definitely not Japan, kids. It's definitely We're California. <laughs> so, you did have a camera. Japanifornia. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. <laughs> this is literally San Franocchio. Like, from Big Hero 6. <laughs> yep, what I saw. Y yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules. Oh boy. I love how that made it into his testimony. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Cross-examination, what Cody saw. Oh boy. Cody. <laughs> so, why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. But I was going to the action. Hold it! <laughs> so you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course! You didn't turn away, not even once? N no! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that! <laughs> Jeez, why do you have to press on every statement instead of just the ones that sound weird? 
So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai! I see. And what happened next? Then the bad guy stopped moving. Oh boy. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! <laughs> and how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch! Samurai chop! Samurai slap! S slap? Some <laughs> something like that. I'm imagining him like, <laughs> And then like slapping him in the face. <laughs> He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? Wait and see what happens or press him harder? Don't press him harder, he's a ch child. He's a chid, yes. He's a chid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. I'll sit back and see how the rest of this goes. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules! Was that what we needed him to do? Yeah, I think so. What did you do after the bad guy fell, Cody? Um, actually, the fight was so, so intense that I got kind of scared. So I went straight home. Something isn't adding up here. Something about his account doesn't seem right. Phoenix, it doesn't seem right because he's being deliberately vague. Press him on the facts, Phoenix. Find out what he saw. Oh, so we have to press him. I'm guessing Edgeworth is up to his old tricks again. <laughs> Ed okay, Edgeworth, I, I would be very mad if Edgeworth ran up to this kid and he's like, I know you're seven, but you have to say this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Edgeworth, he totally would. Mm -hmm. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of a murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing below. And that's kind of what they call him to testify about. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think. Why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He couldn't watch it. He was watching something else or show evidence. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, we gotta think about this. I could see how he couldn't watch it, because if it's, like, gory and he literally got stabbed, I'd be like, Holy cow, there's blood! And I'd run off. To be fair... The evil magistrate costume they said absorbed with all the blood, so he probably okay. wouldn't have seen that. Okay. Hence why um, the crime scene. He seems could be really... watching something else. Maybe it was like I don't know. Um, maybe the, like the other person was like having something else going on. Okay. I don't know. Do we want to go? Evidence. Uh, uh... Which one would you lean towards the most? I guess I think all of these work actually. All of them. Well, I'm not. Mm. I mean, I can't he couldn't watch it's vague enough that, like, it could probably work. Because he couldn't watch it! How could he calmly watch a murderer taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? Oh. We have ascertained, yep. He was watching something else, maybe? Sure. We'll try it. I don't think it would work. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably oh. <laughs> something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could he possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol to steal samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Uh, oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. 
Y yes, sorry, Your Honor. Oh, never mind. Do you have another explanation for this? Show evidence. Okay. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? What do you think? Clearly, he was looking at my attorney's back. I was there too. Um, can we look further at the item before we present it? Yes. Okay. No, it wouldn't be that. Two fifteen and four. So it fell at two fifteen. So that was fifteen minutes before the murder that it fell. Okay. Wait. Go back. Was he updating his book? I think he wouldn't have brought it with him. Okay, I don't think so either. But that. Would Steel Samurai. He was looking at the duct. No. Wasn't looking at the map. Wasn't looking at that. Cause. No. Man! Camera? Maybe he was looking through the. Ca Maybe he was getting his camera. Getting his camera out. That's it. I have to do the attorney's budget okay. though. Here's my proof. That makes sense. Proof? Um, uh. Can I do that again? <laughs> this doesn't prove anything. <laughs> ha! Lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I'll ask you the question again. No no penalties. I like that. <laughs> I forgot how generous the game, the first game is with the penalties. Like, in the second game, it's like, oh, like the penalty system is really brutal. Okay. <laughs> but I actually really <clears throat> like it. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. Oh. I'm aware of that, too. Yeah. Ah! Correct! Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera! He was trying to take a picture! Hey! Bullseye! W what's your problem, Pops? You got a fiend for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right! Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Oh, kid. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right Mia means business. Your Honor... The defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. V very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. Oh, wow. Dang. Witness testimony, oh. no photo? Yeah, you're right, Pops. He looks like he's gonna cry. The Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yep. If he cries, the blush is gonna run off his cheeks. Yeah. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. <laughs> Great. Oh. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Hold it! How right yeah, am I? <laughs> Pops? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer! Geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth, and I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're also self-conscious. <laughs> okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify. Whoa! Yipes! Gosh, Phoenix. <laughs> Pops doesn't necessarily mean, like, Grandpa. No. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. It's moving... Split. strangely? It's split. Yeah. I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons! I couldn't figure it out! I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the Steel Samurai! That's all that happened. Yep. That's all? 
Y yeah! I told you, I didn't take a picture! Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard! Let it slide! I'll press him. <laughs> I let him slide! He looks ready to burst into tears. I'd better lay off him for now. How can I poke holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. All right. I don't want him to cry. <laughs> Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody? Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Bullseye? <laughs> How did you know? Oh. I see for all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. <laughs> wow! This feels great! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Really? That doesn't make any sense. You erased them? Y yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai, Victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Uh, because you want to keep hmm. a picture like that? He's becoming your stupid book. <laughs> <laughs> He's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. Yep. There has to be something. <laughs> Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Blah, 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 blah. This isn't what it means. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wait, the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased it. So you think it's because of his book? His book. Yep. Very nice. Cody? W w what Man, every time you say Cody, you follow something bad. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance! I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow! Wazam! <laughs> I got them all! I never missed one! A perfect collection! Cody? Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Uh, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Do you see at all where this is going? Because mm. we're we're about to get to like the big plot twist, basically. I don't. Okay. No. Order, Mr. Wright. Have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No. Wait. No way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M mia are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright? He just actually killed him. <laughs> Please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The photos were blurry, he erased them by mistake, the Steel Samurai didn't win. Um, <laughs> I, I'm guessing the Steel Samurai didn't win. <laughs> Actually, what happens if we choose the other ones? I believe that Cody Hackens is what we call an artiste. <laughs> an artiste? <laughs> he didn't like the photos he had taken. They were blurry, or maybe his film framing was off. You just looked at it! Anyway, for some reason, he erased the data. Is that right, Cody? What do you mean, framing was off? Oh! It seems the only thing off is your guesswork, Mr. Wright. <laughs> um, uh, yes, well, I'm sure the real reason is... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he erased it by mistake. Simple, your honor. Cody wasn't used to using his new camera. He erased those photos he took by mistake. Wait a second, Phoenix. If that's your answer, we're back where we started. Huh? You mean that wasn't it? 
Mr. Wright, if you have something to say to the court, speak up. Um, <laughs> well, sorry, your honor. <laughs> the stew samurai didn't win. So in other words, the boy was traumatized. I can think of only one reason, your honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N n no way! No! I I it's impossible! The, the Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone! Ever! Your honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. So, this makes me think, however... He couldn't handle the truth. So that, that makes sense. If that's the case, if the Steel Samurai seriously lost, this has to be someone who does not know how to wield the weapon. Because, otherwise, like, the way how the, the guys fight, like, I think they would be evenly matched, because they work, so this has but, to be someone who doesn't... But think about it, if the Steel Samurai lost, and the Steel Samurai was the one who died, who died? Why would the evil magistrate dude be in the Steel Samurai costume? That we don't know that yet, but that makes sense. He was the only one who was big enough to wear the costume, and he was the one who knew about the But his the costume isn't bleeding. The evil magistrate costume was bleeding. Wasn't it? When we were looking at him? I mean, the blood was inside the suit, but I mean... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, order! I will have order! And we will probably Witness. have another day. I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Oh, kid. Ah! Oh, no. No, he's so sad. Cody, that day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. Oh. The, the Steel Samurai fell down, then he didn't move. Ah! Oh so I'm gosh. so sorry for my terrible crying. <laughs> That's why I should have done it. <laughs> That's better. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Hammer was the victim, Steel Samurai was the victim, there was no victim. I mean... <laughs> the, the dude's alive. Which dude? The, the, the guy with the, the chest hair. Uh, the Steel <laughs> Samurai guy. Will Powers, you mean? Will Powers is alive. <laughs> there, what? Was, there was no victim in this case. W w what? Has the defense <laughs> taken leave of its senses? Of course Jack Hammer died. But the Steel Samurai fell too! It was a draw! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry, I was too shocked to say anything for a bit there. Listen, Wright, only one person died in this incident, and that is Jack Hammer. You're an idiot. <laughs> Yet now you claim there was no victim? Are you insane? Uh oh, he's pulling out all the stops now. I'm sorry, it was I who was wrong. Okay, right. First you're right, now you're wrong. Which is it? Go back. <laughs> but look, I'm sure there's something we're overlooking. <laughs> if you're sure, 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 sure. Quite simply, the victim was Jack Hammer. Uh. Um, Mr. Wright, we all know that. <laughs> right. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider your last statement? I'm sorry, I, I was the one who was wrong. <laughs> if you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order! 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 
So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying this man in the costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside his suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera! Wh what? Show us, quick! No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <sighs> Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Wh what y your Honor! May I see that photo once more, please? S certainly I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Can you see it? Uh... Studio 2. Yep. Clearly, this isn't broken! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's here. You seem to be lacking even more confidence than usual. <laughs> I suppose that's because I'm not confident about it at all. <laughs> Maybe you want to rethink your case, Mr. Wright. Yes, please, Your Honor. <laughs> I love getting it wrong, it's always so hilarious. You're right. Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but no, that's impossible! Hmm? Eh, what's all this about? Someone explain so that I may be shocked along with the rest of the court. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in the photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. It was clearly in the dressing room. <laughs> it was here. What does that have to do with the number on the gate in the photograph? Um, well... Sorry, Your Honor, I guess I hadn't thought it that far through yet. Think it through before you point at the map this time, Mr. Wright. Once again, where's the scene of the crime? <laughs> Well, what, was it like in 2 and then they just like dragged the body into- Here, at Studio 2. I see! That would explain the 2 on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The trailer's there, the path that was blocked, or no filming is done. Oh, shoot! Where was the trailer? The trailer's in Studio 2. Oh! Thank you! Bye! <laughs> The path would not be blocked, do, do, do. It wouldn't be blocked. Yeah, it would. It would? I mean, it was blocked. Okay, so it's blocked, the trailer is there. So if you, they were like, oh shoot, I need to hide this body in Studio One. You can't, like, drag it unless you dragged it through right. the forest. Well, let's get the dumb one over with first. Yeah. Studio Two is no longer being used for filming. I see. And this is significant. Why? Good question. I really should think these things for more. 
<laughs> Would you like to take another stab at it, so to speak? S stabbing away, Your Honor. Which one would you say? Um, I actually think they both work. <laughs> I'd say the trailer. As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. You know the other thing that we did not hear about? What? When we when we came to the trailer, remember there was that gigantic noise? We didn't know, figure out what the heck that was. No, we didn't. So, that might have to do with it too. I don't think no. Well, that would be weird if they were just like, here's a random noise in the game. Right. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Oh boy, I guess it's the woman who smokes. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Or one of the big wigs. <laughs> we don't know anything about the big wigs, though. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. They're slow down. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. Oh, there is slowdown. Why is that? There we go. There's a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Meanwhile, this kid's like, am I gonna say anything else? Uh, order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Maybe because he wants the big part. Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jackhammer stole the costume. I have we proof. Pro I don't have proof. Proof? <laughs> proof? Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that. Phoenix, even if you're not 100% sure about this, you have to try. Agreed. And I think you've got proof that's good enough to win them over. Just go for it. All or nothing. Your Honor? Yes, Mr. Wright? Actually, I do have proof. Here's my proof that Jackhammer stole the costume. Wait, no, that can't be right. I've got to have some proof that will knock their socks off. Mr. Wright, we don't have all the time in the world here. Y yes, Your Honor. Here's my proof of Jack Sarah. What did you say? Um, do we have anything from Old Bag's testimony? No. We don't? Oh, nope. shoot. Because I was like... We only have well, let me nine see his pieces autopsy. of evidence. I like how we get to hear the corner music all this time, though. Uh, photo was at 2 p.m. Yep. Wait. Uh, no, no, no. Uh. Well, he had the sleeping pills. But. That is true. The other thing is that since there's this number two photo, someone had to go in, maybe. The other producer. The first photo was Cody. Cody. Oh, yeah, it was Cody. Because Old Bag erased it. Empty bottle. Let's just try that, I, uh, I think. Nope. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Oh, that was right. Never mind, we're good. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Test Power's blood, fingerprint the bottle, examine Hammer's body. Um. So, the way that you would test for drugs is blood. So, probably that? Okay. An idea? Continue. Run a test of Power's blood. You should find traces of the sleeping pills. This much time after the day of the murder? 
Even if there were traces, it still oh, proves yeah. nothing. No blood test could tell you that Hammer was the one who drugged him, Mr. Wright. Sorry. Fingerprints. He's right. Darn. That didn't work. Time to try another idea. An idea, Mr. Wright? And that would be... Uh, we should examine Mr. Hammer's body. Mr. Hammer? I thought that it was Mr. Powers who was made to take the sleeping pills. Uh, indeed it was, Your Honor. Wrong again. <laughs> An idea. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Because four days. Why not? <laughs> Three trial days is the limit. Very well, court is adjourned. Any more then, the audience will get bored of playing it. October 19th, 2.47pm. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Whew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home there th about three times during the trial. R me too! Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too! D dead Ho oh, oh, ho, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. <laughs> Alright, we're my last at the, to be continued. Wow, this is gonna be the longest wow, episode. An hour without the first one. Maya. Well, I, I was considering breaking after Manella's testimony, but that was only 10 minutes. That was so. really short. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm Artie. And I'm Marty. Tune in next time. We'll be doing the last investigation period in one video because it's a really short one. Hope Sweet. To hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Also, be prepared for some crazy twists tomorrow. Ooh.